1983, Style Wars gave the world its first look at a phenomenon that had taken over New York City. Graffiti artists had invented a new visual language to express their individuality. MCs, DJs, and B-boys rocked the city, and the New York subway system became a canvas. Getting loose, cartoons, everything, and when they see you got a vicious style, they be wanting to get loose about it. It was a matter of getting a tag on each line. And go, it's called going all city. He's going all city. I mean, to what end? Now, for the first time ever, the original hip-hop documentary is available in a brand new high-resolution digital transfer. Put your mark on society in uh, in uh, doing something in society. I've screwed it up a little bit, but nevertheless, you got the message. Did your mother wonder why you come home with that all over your face? Okay. Oh, she knows I write the graffiti. She says if uh, pops call, I'm gonna come running to me. Well, it is one of the quality of life offenses. I'll make a few bits, bits, bits. I don't know, a little. Do that here and there. Nikki, Nikki, come on. You gonna save me room or what? As it said, all you see is, and then, you know, big, big, you know, black silver letters that said crime in the city, right? Is that an art form? I don't know. I'm not an art cr critic. But I can sure as hell tell you that that's a crime. The idea of getting your name up, not just in your neighborhood, but everywhere, was invented by a kid named Taki. As soon as everybody understood that it was a name, they realized that Taki was famous. Everybody's got their own arrow. And we were doing clouds around the tags and 3Ds on the tags. We just, for the double R's to have a clean car back then like that, it was, we just had an orgasm. The sock, sock it, rock it in the pocket. Hey, what is that yeah, girl? Yeah. Front of train. <laughs> took it to the doctor, <laughs> so I'm on again. Yo, oh no, we took them out, right? Put it this way, we're out of sight and they might. But if I really get into it and start camouflaging it, I don't think you'd even be able to read it. There's a war going on, as you should know. The twos and fives used to go to the two yards. It would be like a masterpiece art gallery of burners. It's, it's all destroyed. This guy named Cap with his Lucio Ball hairdo. <laughs> all your burners. Who thinks Cap's throw-ups are worth being on a train? Nobody. What you've got is uh, a whole miserable subculture. As an added bonus, with the help of donors and fans from Kickstarter, we sorted through all the outtakes to bring you hidden gems and fascinating moments never before seen in a brand new 40 minute film.